afterwards Jesus found him, verse 14, in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. What's the issue in this healing? The issue in the healing is holiness. I've made you well. Now I'll tell you what this is about. Stop sinning. This is really important. There's a gospel pattern here that you need to see. My aim in healing your body, and the church could say, our aim in touching the neighborhood, our aim in every manner of ministry that touches the body, the mind, the family, is not an end in itself, otherwise we would be cruel to people. Jesus said, I've given you a gift. It's free. You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything for this gift. It came first. You didn't earn it. You weren't good enough for it. I chose you freely among all those people. I healed you. Now, live in that power. Know me. Know free grace. And it's power in your life. That's the pattern we're supposed to see here. When he says sin no more, he doesn't, he doesn't mean like on your own. He means look what I've done. Wake up. I've come into the world to forgive sinners. I've come into the world to change things. Look to me, know me. And in the power that you've just experienced, fight your sin. And yes, this makes some people uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. He warns him. In fact, he threatens him. A lot of people don't think there should be any warning or any threat in in gospel ministry. Just promises Promises, promises, and love, 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 and no threats, no warnings. Well, that's not what happens here. Jesus says, I warn you, if you turn away, if you mock this gift that I have given you for the power of holiness, And the grace that I have shown you. If you turn the grace of God into license. If you make an idol out of this health of yours now. And thank me till the day you're dead for the idol of your health. You will 